Welcome back everyone. We have got a very, very interesting knife to talk about today. This is the Invictus AT G10 from Terrain 365. And they worked with uh, Prometheus Design Works to create the Invictus AT several years ago, which was all titanium. And uh, recently, at time of filming, six months ago, they came out with the G10 version. So uh, I'm going to put links to a bunch of stuff down below to Terrain 365 so you can get an idea about them. Uh, really, they design outdoor adventure gear, knives, tools, things like that. And most all of their stuff is out of the blade steel blade material of this knife so we'll get to that um, but yeah there'll be some links down below this was loaned in from Kyle over at Red Wolf EDC there'll be a link to his channel down below as well so this has some very cool stuff about it um, yeah first off the thumb studs glow in the dark so what's not to love about it right then and there we could just stop there you go it's awesome because of that <laughs> okay not really i mean it is awesome because of that but there is more awesomeness about it than just the glow in the dark thumb studs right it is completely 100 percent non-ferrous non-magnetic and rust proof. That's right. This is made out of a blade material called Teravantium, which they post over here. Okay, it's a completely 100% US made based uh, knife. The Teravantium is created here in the US. It's titanium uh, locked. Uh, titanium frame lock titanium hardware G10 scale ceramic bearings uh, titanium pocket clip yeah it's all titanium G10 or teravantium so this is made for any environment and on their websites they talk about scuba diving um, jungles you know if you're in a humid climate I'm in California I don't really need the rust proofness but it's just cool right the action is pretty good the detent is a little strong for me depending on how I have my fingers on the lock bar it may really be tough to open it just depends so it's a little sensitive on the lock bar okay you have a pretty good finger choil up here but you don't need it like it just works the pocket clip they did fantastic also it is deep carry ish they call it a low carry I think but it is basically very deep carry. I mean, it's not super extremely deep carry where it comes up above the scale uh, or just even with the scale, but I think it's a perfect amount of depth. And this milled titanium clip works great. It's kind of rounded and it's just, yeah, that's the way to do it. Hidden hardware, recessed in. I mean, that's the way to do a pocket clip. So Teravantium. What is Teravantium? It is a dendritic cobalt. Right? I, I didn't know what that was either. It is a dense network of interconnected carbide crystals in a cobalt matrix. Yeah, I still don't understand what that is. All I do know is non-magnetic, non-ferrous, will never rust, will never pit, will never stain, and you can use it in scuba diving, 
in desert, like any environment you want, this will work great. If you're sweating in the jungles, this won't have a problem. I mean, it's just, it's very cool and it stays sharp for a super long time. This has been passed around the different YouTube channels, this specific one, and it is still super sharp. So I don't know what the other channels have cut, not cut. I don't know if anybody sharpened it. I don't know. But it came to me pretty super sharp and it'll leave the same. So that's fine. Uh, I don't know of anybody that's actually sharpened this. So if you have sharpened anything in Teravantium, please comment down below because I'm interested to know, does it feel different while you're sharpening it? Sharpening it? Or can you tell the difference? I'd be interested to know. Okay, so now that I've rambled on about that, let's talk about the specs. Four and five eighths closed, eight and one eighth overall, 3.49 blade, 3.12 cutting edge. The blade steel we talked about was Teravantium. The blade thickness is 0.149. Overall thickness is 0.501. And it weighs in at just 4.1 ounces and runs on those ceramic bearings that we talked about. Super great closing action. It doesn't drop shut and guillotine you, but it's effortless. Maybe one shake and it's down. So very awesome there. Nice spear point blade. Nice bead blasting finish on that Teravantium. I don't know if there are other ways to finish the Teravantium. I don't know. Full length backspacer, which acts as the stop pin or stop surface, both when it's opened and when it's closed. And if you can see inside, let's see, I don't know if that'll show up or not. You can see here that the backspacer it has a groove, the full length, and that's for the blade because it acts as a stop here and there's room for the blade to go and nest into that groove. So the design is pretty ingenious, I think. So let me know what you think if you've handled it or know anything about this one, that would be great. Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons with the Sharpie, the Delica, the Kubi KB237, just about the same size. The Norseman, just because it's here. And last but not least, because it's on the table, the Dessert Warrior. Because I carried this the other day and had some fun with it. So I have not put it away. It's still here on the table. So there you have it, guys. A quick look at the Invictus AT G10 from Ter Terrain 365. Thanks, Kyle, for loaning this in. I greatly appreciate it. It was a pleasure to check this out. If the detent wasn't so strong... I might be interested in having one of these for myself just because it's cool and unique. So let me know your thoughts and please check out the links down below. Go check out Kyle's channel uh, as well as the Terrain 365 to get more details on the blade material if you're so interested. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.